Welcome back everyone to another Genshin Impact video. Today, I'm gonna cover my support special or sub DPS special. As you know, I crowned her normal attack for main DPS. I already have her E crowned. That was my first crown on her. Shout out. And my Q is only level 10. I'll crown it later. I'll get to it eventually. And I have Constellation 6. It's fantastic. And my artifacts are 2-piece Gladiator, 2-piece Thundering Fury, because 4-piece Thundering Fury is kind of weird on her. I'm not a fan of it. I'd rather just go for more damage, personally. But, yes, here are my stats for my flower. They're pretty actually solid. <laughs> Feathers solid as well. Timepiece can be worked on. Goblet's okay. And crown is good-ish. You want an attack percentage sands, electro goblet, and crit rate or crit damage hat, depending on what you're missing. As for substats, you want crit damage, crit rate, attack percentage, energy recharge, so you can maximize her damage and Oz uptime. On to weapons, I personally use the Alley Hunter for sub DPS special because she's off field the whole time and this bow gives you a damage bonus of 25% if they've been off the field for a certain amount of time so it synergizes really well with the play style we're going for. If I had another thundering pulse I would run it on her but I don't so I have to use the alley hunter. I think any 5 star bow would work well for a sub DPS special mainly the skyward harp and the thundering pulse. The Viridescent Hunt is a good 4 star option if you have bought the Battle Pass and claimed the weapon. The Stringless is also another really good option. Onto my stat sheet with Alley Hunter, I have 2100 attack, and if we go to details, 56% crit rate, 150 crit damage, 111 energy recharge, but I don't think that's much of an issue because C6 official generates so much energy. And to top it all off, I have 61.6% electro damage bonus. To start us off and show how much damage Fischl really does, I'm going to use a Barbara with 200 attack, a level 1 twin Nephrite, and her artifacts are literally just HP percentage for healing. She's Constellation 6, and her normal attack is level 4. Songly shield so Barbara doesn't die. 23,000 summoning. And like, it's, it's just kind of insane. Having C6 sub DPS support official, like everything kind of just dies if you have her with good artifacts and a decent weapon. Uh, before I summon, before I summon Oz, actually, I got it literally just 103 damage crit. So all the damage is it's coming from Oz and official. will have order. Oh. Downtime. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, we've arrived. Um, I want you all to keep in mind Zongli Shield does res re reduce enemies' elemental and physical resistance by 20%. If your shielded character is nearby, this, do that, summon Oz, 32,000 summoning. And that was, it's literally just Oz and Fischl, because still Barbara's wearing level 1 nephrite. right? <laughs> Healing item. Healing artifacts. I'm gonna bring Child out, so now we'll get to see Fischl support someone who actually does damage. But first, I think I'll get Venadult one more. Should be good. Stabilize. Order guide. Okay, we'll rock. Well, Venadult will do this. So, Child and Fischl together turn everything to dust for the most part right I'm going in. as you wish shouldn't let your guard down so they they tear this man up pretty badly i will have order stabilize and then the only like downtime for this, the, the only down part to this team is uh, since my child's not C6, I have to wait for his cooldown. Uh, 
Wasn't bad. Forty five seconds. Oh. <laughs> Let's light it up. Let's see if I can get Benedict. Oh, Oz. Thirty two thousand and Benedict. Chance from summoning Oz. And then that's it. Like official. All official probably does more damage than my child. <laughs> Gonna be honest. <laughs> and she's off field, like it's just so good. I want my official to hit a big number. <laughs> like a big number. I wanna see what my biggest summoning damage could be. Nineteen thousand. Uh by the way, my other characters is on lead has that. Sucrose has VV set. She does have Thrilling Tales, but I'm not going to use Sucrose yet. And then Bennett has Four Piece Noblesse. No. Why are you coming here? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This is order. By royal decree. 23,000 summoning damage with his long leash shield. Alright, Bennett ult. And then summoning Oz does 32,751 damage. So that is quite a bit. From just having Benedult and Zongli shield. Oh, missed his eye. Well, still sword Electro. Switch to Fischl to give her the buff from Thrilling Tails. And then I do 44,000. Oh my gosh. Why'd I shoot? 44,000 damage. 44k from level 90 R2. Alley Hunter. Same artifacts. 56, 150. What happens if I eat food and do that? <laughs> I'm eat crit damage. And I'm also gonna take an electro potion. And we shall see what I do now. The robot died. Oh my god. Okay. Swirl. Okay, official. Go Bennett. And then. 53. Th oh, please don't. It's dead. So. Right now, Fischl's at 76, 170 with the Alley Hunter. If I switch to the Thundering Pulse, she will be at 76, 236. So we saw 53,000 from the Four Star Bow. I've changed absolutely nothing but the bow. I'll shoot it twice. I don't care. Swirl you. Swirl you good. Switch to Fischl. Go Bennett, and then summon Oz, Oz for 60,000? Holy! That's a, that's a lot. 60k? Just summoning Oz on someone? Jeez. I see my food buff has run out. I think I'm gonna eat another. I really need to start making more uh, Once Upon a Time in Monstats. Well, Alright, here we go. Amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. Shoot child. I promise I'll be gentle. Swirl the electro. Switch to official. Benedict and summon all is or six to nine thousand. <laughs> what? Midnight <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Um, this phase won't be too too hot for me because uh, he has electro resistance. We don't like electro resistance, but I mean we'll still are, we'll, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Forty three thousand. Order guide you. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of nasty. <laughs> That was 
It's gross. Poor child. That is the video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Fischl is an absolute queen in the sub-DPS role, and I wish you all luck on the upcoming Ball Banner in 2.1. Sayonara!